Hi, so I'm Corin Fife. Um, I am the technical development manager at On Our Radar, which means mostly what I do is try and keep the editorial team, the needs of the editorial team and the needs of the technical team matching up together and help both of them together generate the most innovative uh, platforms that we can for producing citizen journalism. I think the, the radar vision, what we really want to do is to to expand but also to decentralize as much as possible. So our whole idea is about empowering people to tell their own stories and so it's kind of silly to have us always sitting in London and saying we're, we're the ones empowering you from here in, in London. And something that we've just started doing which is really really exciting is that we have the first wave of peer training which has happened in, in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So the Kenyan network is one of the first ones that we established, it's one of the first places we trained citizen journalists back in 2012 and over the past two years some people that we trained have emerged as just natural journalists. They're very strong, um, they are very expressive, articulate um, and what we want to do now and have started doing is to enable them to become coordinators for the rest of the network in Kenya and to start passing on that training to a new, uh, new generation, as it were, of citizen journalists. And it, it's a difficult process at the moment and we haven't quite got it right, I would say, but we're really, really working on it and we're really excited about, about the potential of that happening in future. So it won't just be Radar London going out into the world, but there'll be Radar Kenya, Radar India, Radar who knows where next. Um, and, and, and that's a vision we'd really like to see. And that, that issue of credibility is always one of the first things that comes up when we talk about citizen journalism, particularly to mainstream media. Um, the way that we tried to address that question is by putting a lot of time into developing human relationships and developing a lot of background knowledge about all of the different journalists that we work with. So, uh, so something that we do which makes us different to quite a lot of citizen journalism organisations is that we don't take open submissions from just anybody. Uh, we only take submissions from people that we've previously trained, so we have a relationship with, um, and we, we have an understanding of their position. So, for example, some people we're working with might be teachers in a school, and so we know that they have access to more credible information on education issues. Others of them might be health workers, or they might be single mothers, or they might be people with disabilities. Um, and it's that kind of detailed understanding of the background of our reporters, um, both the social background and that they're physical location, the type of equipment that they have, allows us to be much more confident in the information that they provide us. Um, and also having, a, having quite an extensive network in all of these different countries means that we can cross-reference between our reporters as well, which I think really helps. So if someone in, uh, in Nairobi is saying that there's, there's been an explosion or something like that, we can straight away contact someone that lives in the same neighbourhood or the same area and confirm it. Um, and, and again, being able to verify from multiple sources, of course, makes the journalism you produce much more credible.